so hello friends uh, welcome back to my channel uh, so in this video i will be teaching you all about how to use the nc software so before going to uh, use the software let us get some overview of the nc software uh, basically what nc is nc is the analysis system and in the nc we have different uh, uh, sister software such as apdl mechanical apdl workbench so in the in this video we will be uh, discussing more about APDL. APDL basically stands for ANSYS Parametric Design Language. It's a design language or sim analysis uh, platform in which we can uh, analyze. We can do the analysis of different uh, uh, frame, truss, beams, and different structures. So APDL is basically done in three steps. That is, first is pre-processing, second is the solution, and third is post-processing. In pre-processing, uh, we create the geometry such as line, beam, plate, etc. And then we define the materials and their properties and real constants. After doing, after creating geometry and defining their pro materials properties, we jump into the next step that is solution step. Uh, in the solution step, we check for analysis type that is whether it is a static analysis, modal analysis, transient or buckling analysis, and many more. Then after we apply the load con loads, displacements, and provided boundary conditions. Then after we solve the current live screen. After solving, uh, our window pop up saying solution is done. Since uh, after that, we jump to the post processing uh, step. In the final step, we plot the result, view deformations, and list the results obtained. Okay, so with APDL, what we can do is we can do a 2D static stress analysis, 3D static stress analysis, frame and truss analysis, 2D heat transfer analysis, buckling analysis that is eigen buckling, and many more. So today we will begin with the basic example. We will be using APDL software, APDL in NC software to do an analysis of a 2D beam. Here I have a question um, of a 2D beam. Uh, you can see a 2D beam uh, uh, with a fixed support on one side and another support, another side free sub free end with a load of uh, Fy minus 100 newton and Fx 100 newton. The length of the beam is one meter, and the height and the breadth and height height and breadth of the beam are given 0.01 and 0.01 respectively also some properties such as young's modulus is given density is given and its projection ratio is given now i will show you how to do the uh, analysis of this particular 2d beam example uh, using after uh, nc software so first we will open apdl It is opening. So yeah, so you can see I have this APDL uh, screen. So first, uh, since we are going to do this uh, 2D analysis, um, first we will go to preprocessor. As I stated earlier, we are, uh, and APDL is done in three steps. That is preprocessor, solution, and uh, postprocessor. So in the preprocessor, first we will define the element. Element type, we will go to add element. And then we will go to add. And in beam, we will do a 2D node, 2 node, 188 beam. And OK, click OK. And then we will close. Now we have defined the element. Uh, uh, then after we will go to material properties since uh, we have selected the element now we need to define its material properties in material properties we will go to material models in material models we will go to structural structural under structural we will go to linear and then under linear we will go to elastic and isotropic now you can see ex ex means young's modulus see we have it is given 2.068 into 10 to power 10 since um, NC doesn't read into 10 to the power 10, so we will be writing in exponential that is E10 2.068 E10 and it PRXY means poison ratio, poison ratio is given 0.33. Also, uh, in the question we have given, we are given with an additional information that is density is provided, so we will have to insert this value also. So in the uh, in the same bar there you can see under nonlinear there is density option. So right 
to density value and click ok now we are done with the properties but still we are left with the uh, breadth and height of the beam so in the to define the breadth and height of the uh, beam we will go to sections in sections we will go to beam under beam we will go to common sections and then you can see here b and h we will insert 0.01 in height also 0.01 and click ok now we have defined the material we have uh, given the properties now we will create the model model uh, under the uh, modeling section we will go to create and then we will first define the key points first we will define two key points uh, since one is fixed and another is free after defining the key points we will join them by lines now we will see in active cs we will go to active cs uh, first key point number we will give one and since um, xyz location in current screen is demanding so we will put 0 comma 0 comma 0 this will take origin as the first point click apply now after applying we will enter second point and since the length of the beam is 1 meter we will give x direction as 1 and then other 0 and 0 this will create and click ok this will create two nodes two key points at a mid distance of 1 meter after key points are created we will join it by lines we will go to lines is under lines we will go to straight line and we will first click point 1 and then click point 2 and then click ok now we are done with creating geometry now since uh, uh, we have to do a proper analysis so what we will do is we will first break this single uh, line uh, into uh, small parts and then we will mesh it so that we will can get exact and more accurate data so for this we will go to meshing under meshing we will go to size controls and under size control we will go to manual size uh, sorry smart size sorry manual size manual size and then we will go to lines and we'll, then we will pick the line first after the option arrives a uh, window pop ups so we will select the line and we will uh, see after selecting the color of the line changes so we will click ok now it demands us how many number of divisions we want to show so i will put 10 divisions you can you can put uh, uh, any number but the more you put the more accurate it gives and the more you put the more it uh, takes the disk space and time to solve the uh, solve the problem so i will put just 10 number of divisions and click okay so see you can see the 10 um, the line has been broken down into 10 different sections now after it has been broken down we will mesh it go to i will go to mesh option then we will go to lines and we will pick the line see color changes and click ok now it has been meshed and uh, it has uh, the ANSYS the software has read that it has been broken down into 10 parts so we will uh, it will have to uh, uh, solve it 10 into 10 parts now after doing this uh, the first that is pre-processing work is finished now we will go to second step that is solution in solution we will go to analysis type new analysis since this is a 2d analysis we will select static and click ok then after we will go to define loads click apply structural and then first displacement since our beam is a uh, 2d beam and the and the uh, one part has fixed support so it will have zero displacement that is there will be no any force acting on it uh, there will no any force acting on it uh, so it that is uh, x move um, displacement in x displacement in y and moment all three uh, factors will be zero so uh, under structural displacement we will click click the key point and first we will click uh, first key point and click ok so our pop up we burn window up, up pop ups in this we will select all degree of freedom since uh, it is a fixed support is all degree of freedom will be zero and click ok again we will click key point and click on this second node second key point and click ok now we will be given we are given with two forces that is fx equals to 100 newton fy equals to minus 100 newton we will apply that that is oh sorry 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 cancel now we are done with the displacement now we will apply force under the uh, under the apply section the structure will go to force and then click on key points 
and click this point ok and then fx is given 100 click apply again click in the same point same key keynote ok and then drop down change y and give minus 100 and then click ok now you can see two two forces have been applied with the directions and all now we are done with applying loads now the third and final step of uh, this uh, solution is go to solve and then we will solve the current ls click ok now you can see our solution is done now you close we will now see the result for result we will go to general post processing under post processing we will go to plot result counter plot nodal solution DOF displacement vector sum click ok see so this is the displacement when two forces are applied the maximum will be the maximum will be at this point with a, with a displacement of minus 1.71 meter and minimum will, will be at this point with a 0 meter also under the plot result we can see the deformed shapes uh, we, this will support deformed and undeformed shapes and click ok see the original beam is uh, shown by white line and the deformed beam that is after applying the loads is shown by a blue line also similarly we can plot the result that is we can list the result well, at each, each node at each nodes that is uh, since we, we have broken down this beam into 10 uh, uh, parts in initial stage we can read the data read the exact deformations at these points so for this we will go to list results and then nodal solution DOF solution displacement vector sum click ok and see in the in this window you can see the displacement with each node since one and two nodes are the uh, first which we have defined first node is fixed node with uh, zero displacement two node that is the key point two which has the maximum displacement of 1.9305 and remaining um, nine nodes are created by uh, us during the meshing option so you, you can see that uh, um, deformations at each nodes so yeah in this way we can solve the uh, 2d uh, beam yes thank you for the thank you for your time please don't please uh, subscribe to my channel please don't forget to don't please don't uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends also do press the bell icon thank you